What is that thick, nasty bugger that just showed up there? Oh, gross. That looks pretty gross. Hello and welcome to another episode of Will It Waffle? I'm your host, Jackson Bird, and today we are celebrating hitting 50,000 subscribers on this channel by waffling 50,000 rainbow sprinkles. So a lot has happened since the last episode of Will It Waffle. The show itself turned four years old. It got some love on the Patreon stage. Will It Waffle. That jingle's gonna be stuck in your head all day, by the way. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, not a cooking show, not a science show, barely a comedy show. It's just me throwing random things on a waffle iron to see what happened. For some reason, it worked. Eddie Redmayne gave it a shout out, which is wild to me. Also, I wanted to say, yeah. I'm friends with Jackson Bird. No, shut up. Yes! How is he doing? Yeah, he's great. That thing when he does all like, the waffle everything. Oh yeah, will it waffle, you he know? He just like waffle stuff. <laughs> and it's like really addictive to watch. <laughs> go down a sort of waffle hole. <laughs> Like, what? Is that waffle? <laughs> and there is now brand new Will It Waffle merch. So Will It Waffle lapel pins, magnets, and buttons are still available like usual in my DFTBA shop. Link in this card here or down in the description box. But I also now have pillows! Double-sided, happy or sad waffle pillows. The pillows are available in my new Teespring store, which you should be able to see like a shelf displaying that right beneath this video. We'll see if that works. If it doesn't, there's a link in the description box to that as well. I can't believe how long it's taken me to think of double-sided pillows. Will it or will it not waffle pillows? But I love them and I can't wait to own one myself. I hope you want to as well. So go to all those links and check out the brand new Will It Waffle merch. More merch is to come, but for now, please enjoy that. And I do just want to take a minute to thank you all for helping me get to 50,000 subscribers. When I hit that milestone, all of you said you wanted to see another episode of Will It Waffles, so here we are doing that. But also, I want to give back to you a little bit more and also do a $50,000 celebratory giveaway. But you gotta keep watching to the end of the episode to get details on how to apply for that giveaway. Now, more than half of you have subscribed to this channel since the last episode of Will It Waffles, so this might seem kind of weird or out of place to some of you, if it does, I encourage you to check out some previous episodes, link right there, to see what all of this is about. Or just keep watching because we are going to get started right now. So why sprinkles? Well, because I was really determined to waffle 50,000 of something. One to represent each of you. <laughs> That was so cheesy. I was really determined to waffle 50,000 of something, and <laughs> this was about the only thing that I could think of that would actually fit on a waffle iron. Now why rainbow sprinkles? Because they're the gay ones. And now, technically, I do want to point out that these are non-Pharrells. They are like the, the spherical circular ones, not the like dashes that some people call jimmies. I was also told by someone called Isabel Smith 97 on Twitter that in Australia, Apparently, sprinkles are called hundreds and thousands, which I think is just even more appropriate for a 50,000 subscriber celebration. I'm not sure if those are the Jimmies or the non Pirels. Also, can we talk about the fact that these are pronounced non Pirels, apparently? I took French and I would call them like non Pirel. I don't know, something like that. Non Pirel, but. I fact checked it. That's how you pronounce it, apparently. So part of the reason that I'm using non pareils they are smaller, so I can definitely get 50,000 of these on a waffle iron. But also, because when I was trying to look up, like, how much is 50,000 sprinkles? I found a website that I think was like teaching math or something. They had counted out a thousand of them and then used math to calculate 50,000 of them. So 50,000 non pareils is really just one cup, which can totally fit on that waffle iron. I think, now that I'm here and looking at them. Well, you know what? We're gonna find out. Will 50,000 rainbow sprinkles waffle? 50,000 sprinkles. This is a lot and they're getting everywhere. Okay, okay. 50,000 sprinkles. Oh, a lot of these are not making it on the waffle iron. Yeah, let's just, let's just pour some extras on there to count for the ones that went everywhere. Oh, we're gonna be finding these until we move. Ooh, can hear them sizzling already. Will 50,000 rainbow sprinkles waffle? It does look fun in there. Oh look, there's something left over, I think from candy canes this time last year, is boiling on the exterior of the waffle iron. Every now and then, one of them jumps ship. It's starting to steam a little bit. 
as they are, oh, did you see some of those pop off? They're starting to congeal together back here. And you can see they're kind of moving inside the iron. It's definitely baking into a waffle right there. I presume that's happening on the rest of the iron. We'll still give it a while, because maybe that'll happen to the rest of it. That'd be fun to see. I mean, I suppose one thing is that sprinkles are traditionally something that you add to a baked item after it's cooled down. You don't ever put sprinkles on, like, before you cook it. Unless in Funfetti. I guess Funfetti cake, you might do that. Every now and then it just, like, spits some out of the iron. It's like, no! My iron is rejecting me after all these years! It's finally, like, no! No more of this! This is not a waffle, get it off of me! What is that? Thick, nasty bugger that just showed up there. Oh, gross. That looks pretty gross. Yeah, you can see it sort of forming in there too. Okay, so I can tell that there's still a lot at the front that has not waffled, um, but I can also tell there's a lot going on in there, and I don't know how much more we're gonna get, so I think I'm just gonna see what happened. Will 50,000 rainbow sprinkles waffle? Whoa, 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 whoa! That was not what I was anticipating. That is, um... That's not what I expected. Oh, but it's, I don't want it to break. Oh, like that, exactly like that. Oh, it broke in half. Look at that. Okay, this is pretty wild. And they're still all bouncing off of there too. Just, it's like popcorn. That looks pretty cool. I mean, this, this part of it looks monstrous. That doesn't look appetizing, but the parts that didn't completely discolor and just turned into a waffle look so Cool. All right, so this is what we're looking at. It's like a Choco Taco. I mean, it's just falling apart everywhere, but like that's what you'd expect with sprinkles. Oh my gosh, these sprinkles are like glitter. I'm gonna find them everywhere. Oh my God, I just realized that. This is as bad as glitter. This is as bad as glitter. I suppose I should should try a bite of this. Just tastes like very warm sprinkles. Mm. All right, the initial taste is not great. It's, you know, like, you know the cinnamon challenge? Like, if you have too much of a good thing in one concentrated dose like that, it's not great. That's kind of how it tastes at first, but the aftertaste is just like normal sprinkles. I wouldn't say I'm enjoying this experience. Well, that was, that was something. I would not recommend it as like a snack, but as a cool science experiment, it was pretty fun. I would say that sprinkles waffled better than expected. Kind of thought they were just gonna melt. Don't know that they're a fine delicacy I'd be recommending, but hey, in terms of turning into a waffle shape, yeah, sure, whatever. 50,000 rainbow sprinkles waffle. Oh, wow. Boy, I tell you, everyone's always so concerned with how I'm gonna clean the waffle iron, but that's, that's gonna be easy compared to getting all of these sprinkles off of my counter and my kitchen floor and everywhere that they just like, they just, they just wouldn't stay, like you touch them and they go everywhere. <sighs> wow, thank you to all of these people who recommended that I waffle sprinkles, whether in response to my 50,000 subscriber celebration or in the past before that. If you would like to suggest what I waffle next, leave those suggestions down in the comments or you can always recommend them to me on Twitter or Instagram at Jack is not a bird. All right, so what you've been waiting for, maybe, I don't know, the giveaway. Here are the details. So to thank you all for helping me get to 50,000 subscribers, I am going to be giving away another binder, copies of three of my favorite books that I read this year, which includes Transgender History by Susan Stryker, Amateur by Thomas Page McBee, and The Witch Boy by Molly Ostertag. Ostertag? I'm not sure. Molly, if you're watching, you could let me know. Or I could look it up like a responsible person, but too late for that. Also, I will be giving away one of my Queerstery lapel pins. And just for the record, I don't have partnerships with any of these people or books or products. They're just a few of my favorite things that I've been enjoying lately and that I wanted to share with you. Hashtag not spawn. So to enter, all you gotta do is follow the link in the description box. You will have a chance to check off which prizes you want to be eligible for. That is mostly for people people who do not need a binder. Five winners will be chosen at random, one for each of the prizes, and none of them are gonna win a prize that they didn't select that they want to win. And you can get up to three entries per person, one just by entering, filling out the form, another by confirming you are subscribed or by subscribing here on this channel, uh, and another by following me on Twitter, at Jack is not a bird. You've got one week to enter. I will handle all the shipping logistics, and if you need to pick out sizes or styles or stuff like that via email with you, based on the email that you provide in the form. So just go, all of these details are at the link in the description when you go to the entry form for the giveaway. So go, enter, have fun, win things, and thank you all for sticking with me over the years as my channel has grown, or if you are new here, hi, hello, welcome, I hope you enjoy it, even with this weird waffle business we've been doing, it's kind of what the channel was for a long time. What do you say? 100k in 2019? 
I, I think we might actually be able to do it. I don't wanna jinx it though. Where's wood? I gotta knock on wood. Oh, and one last thing for all of you who have actually stuck around and watched this long into the video. One little treat for sticking around this long. Make sure you're keeping an eye on this channel this weekend. Maybe set some notifications so you don't miss anything that could happen. All right, that is it. I'm finally leaving. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.